Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day. It's time for me to talk about current events in the online fitness community. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing. We're all skilling up my crafting a little bit. And let's talk about something that some of my subscribers aware me of. And yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. People say, why are you enjoying this, Jason? Well, because two people who chose to make themselves enemies of mine, made a conscious choice to do so, are now beefing with each other. And that's none other than Junkie Ward and uh, Mark Loblier. Now, the more ironic part here, the ironic thing is what they are beefing over. What they're beefing over is branch chain amino acids. Now, why that's particularly amusing to me uh, branch chain amino acids is something I have a real long history with on YouTube because actually BCAAs are the actual reason I got sued before. That is actually was the core of the legal matter was what I said about branch chain amino acid research. And a lot of people aren't aware of that because they didn't see all the documents. They didn't see that first 32 page legal letter I got. I was sued because of branch chain amino acids. Now, the ironic part is that I know the whole history of BCAAs online. And that's what's funny. Jerry actually had to jump up in the middle of this beef. So I, I didn't know. I thought Mark was my friend. I thought Loblier was my friend. I didn't know that he's the man who put branch chain amino acids out. Well, I did. See, because that was a big core issue. That was a big part of all my legal dispute. Because I had jumped up and I had said... Rightly so, by the way. This is not even a point of debate. All right, this is not a point of debate. PhDs have raised this exact criticism in the past. I think you guys remember that uh, Lane Norton or Lane Nordstrom, that Lane Nordstrom's research in branch chain aminos that he did his doctoral work in would be considered to have financial bias. Now, when people hear that, they say, "Oh, you saying it was paid for?" No, that's not what financial bias means. Financial bias means the researchers have some sort of personal or financial interest. In other words, it's a personal bias. Well, in Lane's case, he was personal friends with Loblier. Personal friends. In fact, he had said even years before he had stayed at his home. They were close personal friends. Mark was producing this product for profit. Also, he was a sponsored athlete by the company that sold it. So, for him to do research in that field, there's considered to be bias in the research, right? Because of the people involved. It doesn't mean that it was bought and paid for. But that was the thing, wasn't it? They jumped up and he and Salvation assumed that that's what I meant by financial bias, even though the meaning of financial bias is understood in the scientific world. Now, what does that tell you? That was an interesting knee-jerk response. They were willing to spend that sort of money over it? over something that wasn't actually said but they were afraid might be said or they interpreted that way when that's not what it actually meant not what I said speaks volumes doesn't it that reaction speaks volumes so I kind of knew the history here and I'm surprised that someone like uh, Junkie doesn't know the history Surprise! he doesn't know the history. He makes his living in the supplement world. He lives and dies by supplements. He didn't know where branch chain amino acids came from. It's not like Mark hasn't said it 137 times. Mark has said that publicly more times than I've said if you don't deadlift and overhead press, you're a pussy. Right? Kind of gets redundant after a while. Or if I said, you know what, if you're interested in training only for aesthetics, you might be a closet homosexual. You know, it's that level of repeating. The fact that anyone hasn't heard that, pretty rare. Because it's like he said it over and over and over again. How could you not know, Jerry? How could you not know that your buddy who tells people this all the time, he's well known for letting the world know. I mean, he's said that he's responsible for branch chain amino acids as many times as Dr. Lane Norton lets you know that he has a PhD. Like every day. Every day. 
So I think it's funny that he didn't know that. And here's the thing, you know, I got to wonder if any of these people are going to drop a lawsuit on him over it. I got sued over something <laughs> that was an honest act, publicly known fact that PhDs have said. Hell, I got sued for just suggesting some potential bias and research over these products. He flat out said they cause cancer, which, by the way, anyone who watched his video on the cancer thing, I mean, normally I would say with something like that, yeah, you're really reaching. You're really reaching. This is getting into some Alex Jones level stuff. Like, what are you going to say next? That they're putting uh, chemicals in the branch chain amino acids to turn the frogs gay? Like, normally we, we might look at a title like that and think that's what's going on. But when I actually watched the video, there was not a single coherent string of logic in there. And his explanation for the cancer I lost intelligence having listened to it. I am actually dumber for having heard it. And any of you who heard it also, you probably lost a couple points off your IQ. Like you are dumber for having heard it if you actually heard the reason behind it. It will cause brain damage. So I don't know. But the thing is, now they're fighting over it. They're going to fight over branched chain amino acids. And that's the thing, Jerry, you make your living off this snake oil industry. You make your living off this snake oil industry. You don't want to bite the hand that feeds you like that. But I think it's funny that you did. Because it wasn't smart. It wasn't smart at all. And now you got Mark all angry because a product that he had made a lot of money off of you saying it causes cancer. <laughs> saying it causes cancer. Then again, I don't know. Apparently, there's a bunch of YouTubers now out there saying that milk causes cancer. Um, uh, I can't seem to find any epidemiology that would suggest that's the case. And you guys see that? Then you know we're always seeing all this stuff now. It's all new stuff that is causing cancer that all these fitness YouTubers are talking about. It's like, not really, guys. No. But, you know, we might need to cover that milk thing, because I've heard some rumors of some new people saying that. That might need to be addressed. But the thing is, this is going to be an interesting beef between these two. I really want to watch and see how this pans out. I'm hoping we might see the great branch chain amino acid lawsuit 2.0. Actually, not really. I don't want to see that. Do you know why? Because I believe in free speech. I believe in free speech. If someone has an opinion that branched chain amino acids are bad for you, then they're entitled to that opinion. doesn't mean it's a scientifically based opinion. I mean, like I said, there are people who have an opinion that milk causes cancer. Okay, that's fine. You're entitled to that opinion. Uh, you know, just don't claim that it's based by medical fact. You know, if it's just a chain of logic, which is, is what was done here, well, because branched chain amino acids turn into sugar. And sugar causes cancer. Like blood sugar, like you need you need blood sugar for your brain to function. Your brain will, will pretty much go unconscious uh, within a matter of seconds without any blood sugar. That's the, that same blood sugar your brain runs off of is the same sugar you're worried about with cancer here. I think it's fair to say did any, any uh, tumor cells Jerry has in his body are starving right now then? Because uh, there's clearly some <laughs> lack of blood sugar going on there with that chain of logic. But you know, it's the same chain of logic that a lot of people use for milk. Well, uh, milk's got IGF-1 in it. And, you know, IGF-1 is related to cancer. See, so it's my theory that branched chain amino acids, which there's also branched chain amino acids in milk, Bro. Oh man, we just stumbled upon something there. You know, if you want to have that theory, that that's fine. I mean, you're entitled to a conspiracy theory like that. You know, maybe they are putting stuff in the water to turn the frogs gay. I don't know. Interesting theory. But when you start spouting it as fact, medical fact, that's a problem. That's a problem. 
Uh, because in this case, it's not. It, it's a completely asinine theory, <laughs> not based upon anything. And uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out. I kind of want to watch them fight it out. I'm hoping maybe they'll get in a big gladiator match, right? Get in a gladiator match and fight with a pair of baseball bats. That's what I would like to see. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, that's not cool, man. Somebody can get, really get hurt. So, okay, maybe they don't need to be real bats. They could just use those plastic wiffle ball bats and wrap some padding on them if they need to so no one gets hurt. I don't want anyone to suggest uh, that I'm suggesting violence here or that anyone get hurt so they can, you know, use wiffle ball bats with pillows on them and they can have a little pillow fight in a gladiator ring for our amusement. And uh, just beat the stupid out of each other, which is going to take a real long time. Uh, yeah, I think I hope that's how it turns out. But I'm going to keep watching, and let's hope these two keep fighting over branch chain amino acids, because that absolutely made my day. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.